All right. So today um, I'm going to share about uh, how to define the edge and the uh, elf edge overview. Also, the projects. We have 12 projects. I'm going to have a, a high level overview and some of the updates of uh, some of the uh, uh, projects. And I will also talk about Hackathon, uh, Solution Showcase, and Catalog. By the way, we have the champion of the Hackathon, literally here. He was speaking earlier. And uh, yeah, he's hiding. OK, so define the edge. So we have been talking about edge for the whole day. And um, I think this is too tall for me. OK, better? Yeah, so uh, what's how we define a unified edge framework. This is how Elf Edge is doing. We think about from infrastructure to application, it's like vertically, horizontally, we have the user edge all the way to the service provider edge. Within the user edge, we have the constraint device edge, like Amar and Stephen was talking about the home, and the smart device edge, I think the other Amar talked about, and the on-premise data center edge, it's maybe in your server room in any enterprise. And the access edge from Telco, I see the Bell Canada people sitting here. You probably have a lot of the access edge and the regional edge between the cities or the states. And then the service provider edge all the way goes to the centralized data centers like uh, we have Edge Cloud, we have AWS, Wavelengths, and uh, OnSource from GCP, and also Azure from Microsoft. So of course, all of them have the proximity, the compute and storage, responsiveness, five to 20 millisecond latency, and they all have the mobilities. Okay, so Elf Edge provide and um, produce a white paper about taxonomy, uh, which you can download directly from the uh, www.elfedge.org from the resources. Uh, you can see how we sharpening the edge and the overview of Elf Edge taxonomy and framework. It detailly uh, de explain how all of uh, these uh, different edge I just mentioned about do the latency, do the uh, embedded software in different scope and segments. Uh, how to explain this? This is just more zoom in to uh, how we do the increasing hardware and software combination. Like uh, recently, there was an OCP summit in the Silicon Valley last week, and the OCP has the experience center. They use the Elf Edge Equino as uh, the blueprint as the uh, based on the open, uh, open edge specs, the open hardware, and there are more like uh, uh, the software, how we um, make the synergy of them. There was the Alpha Edge catalog, I'm going to talk about this, it's about the template, use the HAM chart template to deploy it with one click. Um, so this is more from a, a point of view, an open trusted edge foundation, uh, how and why we do this, B2, it's B2X to X. I can give an example, it's a B2B to C. A lot of people is ask, are asking how the 5G is being deployed. So we found a, a big cloud provider, they have B2B to C. So they have the 5G, uh, getting the 5G core deployed from the uh, telcos to them, and then they slicing the 5G into three slices. The one is for cloud gaming, the other is for HD video, and the other is for live streaming. And then it's could be to be to C. Then they send it to the end users, to the customers. Um, introducing LF Edge. So LF Edge projects currently there are 12, and they are in three stages. Stage one, two, and three, from lower to higher. Stage one, we have recorded I large projects like Beitou, eKuiper, Project Everring, security device on board. You can see they are located in different uh, locations, either like higher in the application or lower at the infrastructure part. And from the horizontal, you can see some of them located more close to this to the uh, constraint device edge. Some of them is really closer to the data center. 
and stage two growth uh, projects, they are more mature, like EVE, Fledge, Home Edge, Open Horizons, State of the Edge, they are all uh, at the growth uh, stage. Stage three is so far the highest. We maybe have stage four, not defined yet. The highest one is impact projects, like Acrano, making the, uh, based on the specific use case, select specific uh, hardware and make the specific configuration and lifecycle management. They are called blueprints. And also EdgeX Foundry provides the um, edge service framework to enable uh, a lot of uh, good services. I'll talk about this in more details. Um, this shows the vertical market adoption of end-to-end -end open source software. You can see um, the open networking edge and IoT market adoptions here, like the um, industry, manufacturing, energy, and home, automotive, you name it. Right, uh, underneath the three pillows, the enterprise networking, service providers, and end user government. I really think the end users government is very important. How many people consider you are actually from the end user? Please raise your hand. I see none. <laughs> so we really encourage the user application group to participate in the, the open source. We found a lot of OT uh, users they actually, they are still using the very old OT software, and they, they use open source, but they don't know what open source works. And their support is really important. Like it, we have the 5G Super Blueprint, and the service provider, of course, we have many service providers attend here. I see Bell Canada sitting on the, uh, uh, on the chairs, and uh, we built the end-to-end -end open source 5G and Edge here. Enterprise networking, I think, is most likely the uh, CNCF and, and could become participants. You are working on the enterprise networking, like private network, 5G, LTE, et cetera. All of this, we build on the end-to-end -end open source projects, like Acrino, ORAN, EVE, Magma, Anokit, so, um, and of course, Kubernetes. So all of this form this end-to-end -end open source software for the adoption of the vertical market. And for the end-to-end -end, uh, software collaboration, what do we need to do? You already see uh, all of uh, this uh, blueprints, all of these projects on the Elf Edge. They are located in different, like, is there either user edge or the service provider edge going through the three big clouds, private cloud, carrier core, and public cloud. And now we add applications, internet, and web. And we have a big support from public cloud, like the top three clouds. And uh, infrastructure use Kubernetes, um, DPDK, and FIDO. And the network control, we use OpenStack, uh, Open Daylight. For the orchestration, we use ONAP. Now, probably in the automation, we use Nephew, the new thing, and uh, Magma, VNF, CNF, like what we do here at the Telco Working Group, and also the uh, IoT Edge Working Group uh, led by Stephen here in CNCF. So all of this come together, and we can support some of the uh, typical use cases like this. For example, I see Ama was talking about the home. There, there is the home edge for the anomaly detection, surveillance, etc. And also, I remember the VMware keynote talking about the uh, prediction of uh, the uh, like in the industry environment, like turbines, transformers, pumps, etc. It can be used uh, by Fledge and the IIoT support for the uh, partial connectivities and Acrino Blueprint support a lot of uh, blueprints, include the Telco Edge for Radio Edge Cloud integrated from ORAN and the vertical applications, the uh, connected vehicle. This one has been deployed for the Winter Olympic in Beijing. You probably see Alan Gu fly away the big air and behind in the CCTV camera, you can see the connected vehicle blueprint was deployed there. Uh, 
probably a lot of people was focused on the athlete. Nobody see we were actually deployed there. And the AR classroom used by Conair uh, University and San, Di San Diego University. And the uh, uh, enterprise edge cloud automation like ICN, KNI, uh, provide the access edge be, uh, be adopted by the operator in France and uh, Verizon and um, Reliance Geo. And the private LTE, of course, it's widely deployed. I think Ana Networks, Ama was sitting here, and uh, they, they are the main contributor for this. <laughs> also for the um, building automation, industry process control, smart cities, water, retails, I think my colleague Mark was talking about this morning uh, for Project Cassini. And all of this are just some of the use cases and we have more, you can get it from the case study and showcase I'll talk about later. Is the, the voice good or should I use this, uh, this one? Okay, thanks. Um, so in summary for Elf Edge, our vision is to have the software and projects enable the rapid production and deployable and which leverage all the input and drive and supply the building blocks. So we can have a, a, a solution showcase, we have an integration interoperability for all the edge computing across um, different industries. And you can see the, I talk about the uh, stages of the projects. These are the premium members. I, I think we didn't list all of them. If your company's logo is missing, let us know. Um, uh, actually, Davey was sitting here, Davey P sitting here, uh, he's our membership liaison. You can talk to him and he will be here for the whole week. <laughs> the, um, the momentum in Elf Edge is really great. There are 160% growth year by year and uh, four times of commits year by year. 25% new member increase, and the new project 80% increase, 25 global deployments and commercial adoptions for the product, six million downloads for the EdgeX, and 30, uh, more than 30 Equino blueprints in development. So it, since launch, it has been mentioned for 15,000 uh, mentions. Okay, since uh, these are some of the uh, very early uh, PRs and um, posts since it was launched as unifying open source edge, it shows the growth uh, curve. So it was launched as an umbrella project in from 2019 January, and then uh, we kept the momentum the project that Eve see the code and provide and demonstrate the IoT world as the new members. And also Equino uh, release its first release for the enabling uh, 5G and IoT Edge application ecosystem. And then EdgeX announced their first uh, uh, release to provide one platform for IoT Edge computing to a growing uh, global ecosystem. So, um, in 2020, in the second year, Open Horizon from IBM, they see the code is more for the uh, data management for the edge computing, and now grows uh, out. You will see very interesting the deployment or trials at the Mayflower uh, ship, and it's it's uh, very interesting. Uh, I recommend you to to watch the video. And Equino Release 6, not available. Now they are working on the Release 7. For Release 6, there are some highlights I would like to highlight. The public cloud edge interface, it just uh, integrated the telcos and the public cloud through the third party uh, interconnection like Equinix, the layers, how they connect all of this to form the end-to-end -end, uh, use of the telco resources. You can also use like uh, T-Talk as an application, also use the IoT application, different use cases, the UPF distribution, all of this can be done. The SMANIC, SMANIC and it's more like uh, the, the OPU, uh, ODU these days, they use the uh, PCIe as a backend to uh, have the lower CapEx and OPEX for the edge, uh, edge servers. 
Angel Cloud, uh, they are publishing a, a great cloud gaming white paper now. And you can see, because I see downstairs, there's a X uh, box, right? Uh, Xbox, you play the game, but in many countries, you wanna play from your uh, laptop, from your phone, but you want the compute is actually in the cloud, in the servers. So you don't have to spend a lot of money to buy the, the, the high-end uh, uh, equipment, equipment, equip yourself. And the smart data transaction for CPS, you can see uh, our participants for Japan, they have already deployed robotics in the university, in the canteens to wash the dishes and make the dishes. Uh, it's very impressive. Okay, so for the 2022 State of the Edge report, you can directly download from here. It shows the community standardizations, APIs, and market size, and also the control plan, orchestrations, and security across, uh, or cover most of the questions you want to, to ask what, how, and when about edge computing. Um, here, since the title is called the uh, landscape, I'm gonna, I guess nobody can see it's too small, too crowded. And uh, I wanna show you the, this one. Yeah, is it bigger? <laughs> not that, not quite. So you're actually viewing 183 cards with a total of 127K stars, market caps of $9.8 trillion and funding of $6 billion. So you can tell from here, if I zoom in a little bit, you can see um, the traffic routing, community service provider, like what platform you're using, uh, security, networking, monitoring, provisioning, and not mention the hardware, we can use what the core city can, accelerator, edge OEM, ODMs, wireless and wirelines and some uh, traditional uh, paths and eyes, all of this, and which companies contribute what uh, at 180 cards. You can go to landscape.elfedge.org to, to read yourself. Okay, let me come back to the slideshow. Okay, the key takeaway uh, is to harmonize the open source edge communities across IoT, enterprise, cloud, and telco, and keeping Elf Edge uh, open and interoperable with like CNCF, Etsy Mac, all of this uh, open source and silicon and clouds, OS, protocol, independence, and hosted by Linux Foundation, same as CNCF and LFN and more. So how to get involved? You can get involved like uh, get the ELF ID, it's very simple, 20 seconds, and visit the wiki to see the progress and join the workflows. There are many ways to participate just like how you participate in the CNCF. Uh, this is a new way to support our community. Uh, I encourage you to attend one summit in Seattle next month. And there will be uh, a lot of uh, Edge-related uh, uh, session, many of them from Elf Edge, and also the participating companies. And we also have the board meeting in person there, if your company are the board members. Um, so, and the most important thing, you are gonna see the Elf Edge solution showcase there. So, uh, what are the Elf Edge projects? And we abstract data and apps and we untender the data from cloud services as close as to the actual edge and extend the cloud native principle whenever possible and plan for CICD. So these are the impact project to re-emphasize Equino EdgeX Foundry. One is more for blueprints, the other is more for uh, service, uh, IoT service framework. Uh, growth project EVE, it's more like operating system for IoT, and Fledge for data management, Home Edge for anything home networking for edge computing, Open Horizon, the data management platform, and the uh, Edge, it's more like a report of the Edge for each year. 
And for stage one, Beto is supporting AIoT, and it's led by Baidu, and eKuiper is more for uh, edge lightweight IoT data analysis. And SDO, it, we call it a secure device on board. It's a zero touch onboarding service. So um, that's one, our ring is build the framework SDK for the trust of fabric. So some of the project updates include uh, release uh, up to 8.10.0, just announced. And uh, they gave presentation to Alpha Edge Summit sponsored by Equino in Google. And the clean energy example uh, has become the part of uh, industry solution and collaboration on the edge booths as I said, in our uh, LF One Summit. It's One Summit, it's a networking edge, and well, it's open, open networking edge, yeah. Uh, for Open Horizon, they have new features, report TSE members from Aconox. This is a CNCF uh, Kobe Armor and CNCF Cilium teams were there. And new contributors, security portal feedback, all this great work at the Edge Computing Export. And the Edge X Foundry have uh, new uh, releases and development and adopters, including the, uh, uh, including uh, adopting the building system integrators. And market event, one summit, security portal feedback, um, they are working very closely uh, with the security working group to make sure um, it's secure at the edge of for IoT. So Fledge, uh, I like this hour, <laughs> a very funny animal here. It uh, developer and releases, it's on the 2.0. They just published the blog and showcase as well. Um, if you have uh, interest to, to join any end-to-end showcase, you can connect. Now, this is an interesting part. Is Ama here? Ama? For Ana Networks, uh, he was the speaker, and he's actually the champion for this uh, uh, Etsy Linux Foundation Edge Hackathon 2022. It actually lasts for six months with uh, three things: the automotive mixed and uh, augmented uh, reality, and the edge computing in 5G. So we have uh, uh, there are 15 teams all over the world, from China, India, and Korea and Europe from Spain and teams from USA. Uh, finally, um, they, the final uh, winner is about the cloud and the edge and 5G, Team Domino and Team Pedro Forca and KITT. KITT is talking, uh, it's implementing about the automotive, so they won the special prize. Yeah, just to let you know, the top prize is $9,000 cash. Yeah, so I hope you guys can join next year. Uh, this is the yearly event, last for six months. And the industry solution showcase, why we do this, we wanna promote Elf Edge projects and increase the adoption. That's why we have this uh, uh, showcase. These are the showcase like cross projects, robotics, all ready to show. And some like a smart edge open for Oren is in the pipeline because they need more time for the integration. If any companies besides Wave Labs, Wave Labs, you are interested to join, feel free to contact uh, uh, King Sound from A and D. So these are the four kiosks we have at the Alpha Edge uh, demo space. One is for Telco. There are two showcases. Uh, one is the collaboration for the enterprises. Uh, adopted by telco companies. And DevOps Mac uh, infrastructure, it's for uh, some telcos, and also related to the winner, uh, the public cloud edge interface. And for oil and gas, this clean energy and the uh, open subsurface data universe, and uh, it has been uh, carried on by the three projects. Uh, Kiosk 3, Kiosk 3, manufacturing, this robotics, application of Fledge, and the UC Davis and the uh, Opus, if you are a wine taster, wine, wine lover, so this is maybe a very interesting uh, winery use case for you. And for retail, this also uh, delivering, managing the retail applications, 
and um, there are several projects that are involved for the warehouse with uh, minimal IT stuff touch points. Um, uh, finally, the Elf Edge catalog. So we always think we have so many great uh, open source projects, but it's very hard to deploy with just one click. This is just thinking about to do our best effort to use the Kubernetes with one click to deploy the different open source softwares uh, on the Linux Foundation Edge. So there would, uh, if you go to this wiki page, there is the, um, the, the GitHub and YouTube uh, tut tutorial for you to get involved. So this is the last slide I'll pass here to see any questions, comments. Hello? Oh, this one doesn't work. Okay, works. Any question, comments for clarification? Yeah, or you, I, I will stay here to, to the end. You can find me at the first row. I'm sitting there or in the hallway. And uh, if interested uh, in to uh, get involved in Elf Edge, actually Elf Edge worked closely with uh, many uh, CNCF.